Cheers, YouTube. Actually, this is just black coffee. Anyway, I'm, uh, I picked up a new Crucible. Actually, the first one I've ever had, so a proper one. I'm going to have a go at melting some brass this year. And I've been kind of thinking about some tongs. So I watched every YouTube video, I think, on tongs. And this is kind of what I came up with. So uh, basically the idea was when the handles are basically straight together, I could grab them with one hand and it'll be locked. But I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip that part. It's just going to be a lifting tongue. I'm not going to do a pouring tongue. So that was kind of my doodling thinking. So here in Fusion, I kind of mocked it up. There's the two handles. I'm going to use some pipe for the handles. And then I'm going to cut, cut a couple brackets to act as a hinge. And this area here is kind of where the crucible would fit. I'm gonna put some flat bar down here, some flat bar down here, and shape that and make the cradle to fit the crucible after it's uh, welded on. So yesterday when I was at work, I was checking the dumpster and I just, it was pretty awesome. I, there actually was a bunch of, bunch of metal in there. I got this piece of pipe. So I'm going to cut that in half and <clears throat> use that for the handles. And they had some, there was some flat stock in here, so I'll cut that up and make the cradle out of it. And apart from that, there was also, oops, oops sorry about that. Uh, there was a bunch of brass in there. I thought these were like cast iron fittings with some brass, but turns out <clears throat> they're all, it's all brass, even the, the nipples. So, <clears throat> good little lick. Um, so I'm going to use the plasma cutter to cut these two pieces. And then uh, I've got a little piece of, i got a little piece of quarter inch plate here that I picked up. Whenever I go to the metal place, I go through their scrap bins and if I find any nice little usable pieces, I'll grab them for cheap and they're always good to make something out of. So we'll be back here in a minute. So there is the hinge. Cut pretty good uh, for quarter plate. Just a little bit of a, if you can see that. Just a little bit of slag, or I, don't, I forget what they call it, but this just chips off. Chips off nice. So the idea here is uh, I will go with something like that. Get welded on, and then these will come here. So when the handle is closed all the way, I can just grab it one hand it or two-handed, but, you know, one hand, it's not coming open. And then my crucible will sit, sit in here. 
like that. So I'll put a couple uh, couple little straps to come around to grab it, to cradle it. And then when I open this, it'll open up. So I'll tack this together. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna record uh, welding. I, I heard that welding's so bright that it's not good for your camera sensor. So I think the plasma torch is probably bright enough. So I'll tack this together and be back here in a bit. So the pipe is uh, pretty much an inch in diameter, a little bit over. Um, so to get this hinge in the right position, I just got it shimmed up a quarter inch and then it's a quarter inch thick. So this face is pretty much right in the middle of the pipe. And then when I put the, put the other one on, the other one will sit up like this and then these two pipes will be nice and lined because they'll be sitting on my on my bench and and I'll have some nice room to fill in some beads there. So that'll that'll look pretty good. I'm gonna I got a welder but I'm not a welder. So street copper if you're watching I'm sorry man. I hope you don't lose respect for me. But uh, I'm gonna tack this together and and give you a look. There it is, tacked on. There should be plenty of travel there. Feels decent. Should be good. I'll put these uh, two arms on now. So that actually worked out really well because the pipe's a uh, one inch diameter and my arms are an inch and a half. So put a quarter inch shim underneath the pipes and that brings this up to make this nice and balanced in the middle. And I'll just, uh, I'm just using this square to kind of hold it a little flat. And I'll just tack this on and then tack this one on. So uh, my crucible right now, the one I'm probably going to use as a standard because these things only gonna kind of fit one size. This one is five and a half inches right at the top. Um, my handle's an inch, inch in diameter, so that leaves four and a half. Divide that by two, I got... Uh, 
two and a quarter. So I got this propped up on two and a quarter inch where it would. And I'm looking like I'm hitting the middle pretty good. So I'm happy with that. And I just got this to shim the back and try and get it lined up. So far, I'm really happy. One thing I think I would change on the next version if I do this again. Uh, maybe instead of coming in like on an angle, have a little straight bump out here so that when you drop down, it's kind of flat when you hit the top of the crucible instead of an angle. Because you can kind of, it's kind of easy to go too far and like nip it with the with this so that's one thing I'll change for sure but other than that uh, maybe uh, also a, just a tiny bit wider like when I close when I close the handle like completely when I close it completely there's just a little bit of pressure there I could have used another 16th one way or the other it would have been perfect but anyway it was a good start so all i'm gonna do now is cut a couple tabs i mean i you already see me pick this thing up with nothing but uh what i'm gonna do is cut a, a couple tabs and i'll lay maybe an inch by inch squares I think would be enough and I'll just lay it down lay it down here and tack it on and then same on the other side so I need four of those for the top and sorry normally I get you on a tripod but I think what I'm going to do is just kind of bend this in a little bit here on the vise. Well, balance the difference there, but just tweak that in a little bit. Tweak, tweak that in a little bit. And then do the same thing, just kind of lay the tabs on and weld them in place while the crucible is in there. And that should be like bomber. There you go, there's a rookie mistake. They were laying down nice and flat. I just saw it well at the backside. And they pulled out. I should have just uh, tacked them on and then tacked the inside, but that's all right. It's not gonna fall out of there. So I'll flip it over here now and do the other side. So those uh, first tabs I put on, they pulled back with the weld. A totally a rookie mistake, but not a big deal. Uh, it's still in pretty good alignment. So I got it cradle here, it's hanging. And then uh, I got these tabs put on, just sitting there. So when I weld them, they'll pull back and then that'll be a little bit of a give there. Just a little bit of float. So the, so the crucible's cradled, there's no pressure on it. And again, I got the ends clamped together with my grounding clamp. And that should give the crucible lots of room to float around. Well, here it is. So far, I'm pretty happy. 
I've only used it for about 30 seconds. I got a, a couple things I'd probably change, but uh, I mean, it's it's bomber. I can one hand grab this, no problem, all day long. Lift out. You could even pour this way if you wanted to. I'm not sure if I'd do that or not, but. But like you can grab it right at the base or right at the top. It's perfect. Mind you, it only fits this size crucible, but slides in without having to open very much. There it is. I'm digging it.